everybody, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Today we're going to talk about a creature named Jeff. Jeff has been called many things over the years, including the Dolby Spook, Jeff the Talking Mongoose, Jeff the Talking Rat, Jeff the Talking Weasel. Regardless, it is a fascinating story. They got tons of media attention for the time, and it's still not really solved today. In the early 1930s, the Irving family had a farm, and in their farmhouse, they, it was just a mom, dad, and a daughter, and they started hearing weird noises coming from inside the wall. And they explained that it, at first it kind of sounded like a rat or a dog or just like a weird scratching sound. Well, the scratching started to have vocal tones. And at first it kind of sounded like a dog or a baby, but eventually it spoke English. It introduced itself as Jeff, and it said that it was a mongoose that was born in New Delhi, India in 1852. It claimed to be an earthbound spirit that was in this form, and it said that it looked about like a small rat with yellow fur and normal hands and feet. And it said that if anybody ever actually saw it, they would faint, become petrified, eventually mummified, and turn into a pillar of salt. The family themselves made a lot of claims about Jeff. That it protected the house. That if they left the stove on, it would turn off the stove for them. It would tell them whenever company was coming or like an outside animal or dog was near the property. If you ended up oversleeping, Jeff would wake you up. And they even claimed that Jeff would follow them outside of the home and stay hidden the whole time. And it would hide in like bushes and brush along the way and you could hear it chattering as they went to town. They wanted to kind of welcome Jeff into their household, so they left him offerings very frequently. And the way that they left them was they took a saucer and usually put biscuits, chocolate, bananas, and they'd suspend it from the ceiling, and then magically the food would be gone. How a rat-sized creature could get onto the ceiling to get it, no idea. So news got out about Jeff, especially because people would hear Jeff when they'd come to their house. Or if they were walking down the street, they'd hear the chattering along the, the street with them. A lot of people had claimed to hear it and even see it. Some people had claimed to see Jeff too. And so a lot of people had their claims out there, news reports were made. It became a local legend. About a year after the father of the household died, in 1946, an actor from that area bought the house. And he ended up shooting Jeff and putting him on display. However, the daughter said that that was not Jeff. It was just a black and white photo that was printed in the paper. She said that's not what Jeff looked like, and she knew that Jeff wasn't some kind of figment of her imagination or a creation of her family's, that Jeff was real, and that wasn't Jeff. All the way up until her death in 2005, she said that Jeff was real. But there were so many stories about what could have happened, and the biggest thing points to ventriloquist style vocal play. So a lot of people think that somebody or all of the family were involved in making Jeff a thing and making people hear it in different areas so that it seemed more believable. But no one really knows, and since the last living member of the family passed in 2005, no one's gonna get any more answers. So I just wanted to share this story with you guys. I think it's awesome. I kind of hope Jeff exists or existed, but no one really knows. Do you guys think it'd be possible for some type of earthbound entity to take on a form that's different and weird and, and unseen by people but still interacted with? I want to know your thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you did not enjoy hearing about Jeff, you can always leave a thumbs down. That way I can keep it in mind for future content for you. However, if you did enjoy hearing about Jeff, please consider giving this video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I try to post a video as often as I can. Usually it's at least three times a week. I'm Kat Davis, and this is Paranormal Cat Have a strange day. Bye.